We are now going to show that the category of commutative rings is actually coextensive, which will make the category of commutative rings geometric. It actually has a dual geometric property. So we think of coextensive as co-geometric, and we think of extensive as the geometric property. And if you know anything about algebraic geometry, we can think of the coextensivity of commutative rings leading to the nice geometric properties of affine schemes. So to show that the category of commutative rings is coextensive, we have to show that product diagrams get preserved under pushouts. And so if we have a product between two rings A and B with their projections to A and B and set I sub I to be the kernel of the projections, we see that the two projections are actually regular epimorphisms and the quotient objects are given by A cross B I1, which is isomorphic to A, and A cross B I2, which is isomorphic to B. Then if we take a pushout along any ring morphism F, since pushouts preserve regular epimorphisms, we see that the bottom two arrows coming out are regular epimorphisms. And the congruences which give us these regular epimorphisms are given by F lower star I1 and F lower star I2, where these F lower star I sub I is ideal generated by the images of I sub I under F in C. So we can see that in fact C, the bottom two arrows C along with the bottom two arrows coming out are in fact projections. And we can give this as an isomorphism C isomorphic to these two quotient objects. The isomorphism can be prov proven by using the Chinese remainder theorem. We see that the sum of the two ideals F lower star I1 plus F lower star I2 generate C because F lower star I1 is equal to the image of A, oh, it's, it's equal to the image of B under F, and F lower star I2 is equal to the image of A under F, and so the sum will give us all of C. It'll, it'll include the unit. Also, we see that the intersection of these two ideals must be the zero ideal because of the same reasons as we said before, I1 is isomorphic to A, or I, I1 is isomorphic to B, and I2 is isomorphic to A.